Hi, my name is Morgan Crumbly, and I'm playing the role of Plum. Hi, my name is Paris Sauter, and I'll be playing the role of Amy. Hello, I'm Terry Henry, and I'm playing the role of Big Mom. Hi, my name is Marita A. McKee, and I'm playing the role of Marion. Hello, my name is Asha Basha Dunyani, and I'm playing Reese. Let's talk about the the bond of a family, but specifically, like, this is a bond, or a family bond of women, specifically, and how do you think that plays a role in the show? I think that the bond of a family, and in particular, the women bond, is something that, um, in, it's impenetrable. It doesn't matter what the chaos is, what the arguments are, what the disagreements are. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be something, a common denominator, that is going to pull those women back, whether it's mother and daughter, sister and sister, uh, sister and aunt, it, it doesn't matter. And that dynamic is really shown in this family, there are um, a lot of conflicting personalities. Distinctive pathways. And they don't always agree with each other. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they are still working together, mm -hmm. helping each other, mm -hmm being supportive, being there, despite the lack of uh, agreement a lot of times, there is still that support mm -hmm. so that you never feel like you are out there on your own. Mm -hmm. You always know where home is. And that's a role that, again, this family plays on stage and that uh, many black families experience the same in real time. Mm -hmm. I know Annie is breaking out of a cycle. She is breaking out of the cycle of drugs. She's breaking out of the cycle of GM being the only option of work. Mm -hmm. She's breaking out of the, trying to break out of the cycle of Flint. Um, and trying to birth a new life, literally. Mm -hmm in this in this play Amy you have a different options out here you don't have to stay here you don't have to keep doing this over and over again and you can there are you can do something different and that's freeing that's very very freeing it's scary but it's also very freeing for her and I think for everyone else in the house because and, or inspiring mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. others, mm -hmm. you know, to be that that rebel spirit to say, I, I ain't doing this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you said that. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm doing something else. Yeah. 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 I may have gone about the wrong way, but now I'm clear, and now I can see. Oh, uh, uh. -uh. Mm -hmm. No, we we're better than this. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think for my character, because she is so young, without giving too much away, you know, not having access to clean water is, you know, life and death for her. And, you know, the ultimate loop and cycle of the universe is life and death. And so I think it's a lot for my character to grapple with how not having access to this resource has affected the cycle of her life. She barely has had a childhood with access to clean water. And so now she's stuck in a cycle of just trying to survive day in and day out is a mm -hmm. fight for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so while the other characters are older and may be able to envision freedom, I don't know, even know if my character has the privilege of knowing what freedom would look like for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reese's character, Reese is, um, she is breaking the cycle with her entire family. I think she's doing what a lot of <clears throat> my generation is doing in the real world of breaking generational traumas oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. breaking the family cycle of how we communicate with each other, how we inter yeah, how we just interact with each other. She challenges each one of her elders, her mother, her grandmother and her aunt and forces them to find a bit of freedom and how uh, they give themselves grace and how we give each other grace um, and just allowing ourselves to be flawed mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I think that's Reese's whole thing is that she she's open to the ugliness of life. Like she acknowledges mm-hmm. that it is ugly and let's push through that. Um, of course, with the beautiful help of her auntie Amy. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, yeah, she's breaking the family cycle all, all together. I think that um, Big Ma is the glue. Mm-hmm. At one point or another, Big Ma has some words of advice mm-hmm. um, for everyone. She is the one that eventually everyone comes to at, at some point. Mm-hmm. It's always some one on one interaction Mm -hmm. and I cannot say she's trying she she is dealing with some personal regret Mm -hmm. I will say that and that for the most part you can tell she's dealing with more inwardly than outwardly Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and being the matriarch of the family. She's just the one who is exuding um, the strength, some humor, some sarcasm, some realness, Mm -hmm. Um, even though sometimes her realness is harsh. It's meant out of love. She's not a very loving person, but she does have love for her family. Mm -hmm. Uh, Care. I would say care and concern. And um, she's just the glue in the family. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, believe that Marion has the capacity to break out of her cycle of survival. Mm -hmm. I think she has been very used to for really over half of her life at this point, um, taking care of other people, taking care of her husband when he was there taking care of her children and now having to take care of her mom and her sister. And I think there is a longing that Marion has for life to be different. And I think, unfortunately, her idea of how life could be different is is minimal. It, it's, it's small in terms of what she's seeking after, but I think that's because she's longing for something different, but doesn't necessarily have the capacity to really sort through what that looks like for her. Um, and so with that being said, she's doing the best that she can with the resources that she has. What does surviving mean to you as black women in the United <sighs> States in 2023? <laughs> <laughs> that we survive is having the determination to push through mm-hmm. anyway. Yes. It's it's something that's innate mm-hmm. in us, in our culture, in our culture mm-hmm. as women. We feel the turmoil in here. Mm-hmm. We know that there's some discombobulation going on in here. But again, we know how to dress it up and force our way out the door mm-hmm. to continue on with life every day. And it's it's almost just like a machine. You don't feel like doing it, but you know that there's nobody else who's gonna be mm-hmm. a safety net for you. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. We don't have safety nets. No, we do not. Everything that we get, it, it's that we get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not given, it's earned and worked for very hard and for a very long time. Yes. And I think that, you know, there's a stereotype, she's an angry black woman. Yeah. Black women are not angry, we're exhausted. exhausted. Actually, we're the most joyful yes. people on we the planet. Are. We find yes. comedy in everything. everything. We're so unserious. We are so <laughs> unserious. But when, when you've got that game 
face mm -hmm. on. Yeah. You know, and after you've come through so much adversity mm -hmm. in so many ways, um, I, I believe that, yes, a black woman will let you know quickly, I am not the one to be played with. Mm -mm. Okay. And then that's where the bitter, angry black mm -hmm. woman um, trope, trope gets trope. misconstrued, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's 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 so incorrect, you know. Sometimes black women just need a hug. Yes. And I think another way black women have always survived is through community. <clears throat> and we've talked a lot about community need, um, community healing and rehearsals and things of that nature. And family is the ultimate form of community, and that's what they have in the show. Even though they are facing environmental racism mm -hmm. and things that mm -hmm. make it so hard to survive on the day to day, they are still bonded by, mm -hmm. not only by blood, but by their struggle and mm -hmm. by their sisterhood, yeah. which I think is something that's really powerful because, you know, is the community perfect? No. No. <laughs> no, no, it's not. But <laughs> we're always there for each other, even when we don't know how to be. It's yes. like, hey, I'm here. Yes. And even little things like when black women be like, I'll help you with your hair, girl, or you look good today. You know, mm -hmm. little things like that. The little ways we always oh, see yes, each other and support sure. each other. Okay, hat it does help you survive. <laughs> right. Okay, okay nail. Okay, okay, nail. okay, nail. okay. 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 <laughs> when you know, when you hear a black woman just out of the blue yes. says, "Okay, dress." You are wearing it well, and yeah. that is, those are the things that we love about being a black woman. Yes, when we sure. see each, when we yeah. see each other yeah. do our thing, yeah. mm -hmm. even when, because we know it was no uphill, easy, easy peasy uphill battle. Yeah. No, she had to, she had to deal with some mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She had to deal with some. She had to deal with somebody talking down, someone thinking something of her, mm -hmm. someone. And she's still dealing with that mess. And she's still dealing with right it right now. Right looking now, looking good. Looking so, good, looking <laughs> fine. Okay, hi. <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Because she knows she's probably the smartest woman in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> smartest woman in the room. <laughs> How we uplift each other in the show, or just in the world, through yeah. laughter and joy and. That's what I said. Laughter. Yes. Yeah. Laughter. Advice. Support. Yes. Yeah. yes. I was going to say it's just as uh, Morgan said, through community, through sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My favorite is compliments. Yeah. I love paying attention to someone and giving a very detailed compliment. Because it goes yeah. so far. Yeah. It goes really, yeah. really far. But it's yeah. the idea of seeing someone, yeah. you know, yeah. and acknowledging that you see them and having that interaction. <clears throat> And then just leave it. Leave it. <laughs> just leave it where it's at. Yeah. Come see the show! Yeah.